Yesterday, I tweeted out that the censorship on Twitter was not a uniform censorship, but a one-way censorship against conservatives, that leftists were never banned. And, and Elon Musk replied to me, and he goes, correct, correct. And of course, that um, magnified the reach of my tweet, which was seen by um, tons of people. And uh, it turns out that a lot of these woke leftists on Twitter who are angry, they're not angry by the way that they are being censored. They're not being censored. They're angry that they don't get to censor other people. And some of them are like, well, Twitter has become a very hateful place. Let's go to the, this other platform, which I'd never heard of, quite frankly. It's called Mastodon. And what's funny about Mastodon is that it's all these leftist hall monitors, if you will, are now on Mastodon. And they're all trying to cancel each other. So it's really fun to watch because um, one guy says, says to another guy, you know, well, you're not just sufficiently, um, you don't have sufficient allegiance to the trans issue. You need to be banned. And then the other guy goes, well, I don't want to be banned because of some activist. And the guy goes, you can't call me an activist. I'm a journalist. And so all of this is going back and forth. One guy was essentially kicked out of a journalistic platform on Mastodon uh, for calling another guy a bootlicker. And so, you know, banning is the name of the game here. In fact, I was telling Debbie, she's, uh, I, I had a clever idea, and that is I'm going to go on Mastodon myself. Now, I'm not going to go on as Dinesh D'Souza because I'd be banned instantly. I'm going to go on as this kind of super woke Asian Indian guy. Uh, I'm, uh, just between you and I think I'm going to use the name Kumar P. Kumara Swami. That's me. Debbie's like, you can't give it away. They'll know it's you. Well, this is kind of between us. Don't let the cat out of the bag. But my idea is to go on as a super woke guy on Mastodon and demand that everybody be banned because they're, in, they're not sufficiently woke. Uh, and I don't know if that's going to work, but there are even there are even progressives who basically have tried Mastodon and they realize that the platform is just, a, you know, how horrible it is to be on a platform where ultimately everybody's trying to cancel everybody. Here's here's Nate Silver, who's the founder of the website 538. He's a pollster. Uh, and he goes, honestly, if Elon gets all the hall monitors to migrate to Mastodon, that might be his greatest contribution toward the betterment of humanity. So here's a somewhat surprising statement, somewhat in defense of free speech coming from from Nate Silver. But Mastodon is like what you could almost call it a circular firing squad. Everybody sits in a circle. They p pull out their sort of, you could call it censorship um, weapons, and they start blasting each other off the platform. And uh, and uh, and this is what Twitter would be like if it wasn't for Elon Musk. Twitter was actually moving in this direction. So it is uh, it is marvelous to see. And by the way, a lot of the journalists who went to Mastodon, they somehow thought that Elon Musk was going to blow up Twitter. Um, I mean, I find it particularly funny that people who, you know, make $70,000 a year as like business consultants or pundits are telling the richest man in the world how to run a business. Oh, Elon, this is never going to work. This is really going to blow up. Um, and uh, I think Elon Musk really knows what he's doing. And Elon Musk has been pointing out that Twitter is actually getting traction like it's never seen before. And naturally so. Why? Because it's exciting to be on a platform where you can hear different voices. And uh, it's exciting to see this kind of clash of ideas and the repartee that goes back and forth. So it's a fun platform to be on. But you can't go to a progressive and say it's fun. Why? Because the progressive's answer is, no, it's not fun for me. Uh, it's more fun for me to ban you. So that's what really gives these freaks uh, a sense of pleasure. It is the power that they get to exercise over their, over their political opponents. So look, I think it's really good that some of these people, these, this is sort of like all the village busybodies in an ancient village deciding, listen, we'll create our own village. Then we'll all like tear down each other like crazy. And that's basically what Mastodon has become. It's a separate village for village gossips and village censors and village busy busybodies. And the effect of all of them congregating in that village is that all the other villages, and in this case, I'm thinking specifically Twitter, are freer for the rest of us.